Hey everyone, this is Jolene. Um, I don't think I actually introduced myself before. My name is Jolene and um, I've been using Traveler's Notebooks since about November. And since then I have amassed quite a collection. I have 16 in actually 17. I just got a new one today. 17 in use right now. I have four that are currently on order. <laughs> It, it sounds really bad when I say it all together like that, but um, I have found lots of uses for them. I was asked to show, to do a flip through of my notebooks. However, when I tried to do that, not only did I use up the memory card in my phone because I ran out of memory, but I also realized it was going to be really, really long. So what I'm going to do instead, I've created one video that is all just the leather notebooks by themselves talking about the different kinds of leather showing their floppiness and their um, sturdiness and all that kind of thing because when I was first looking for notebooks I couldn't find anything like that I kept trying to watch videos and people were going through just what they had in their notebook they weren't really talking about the notebook itself and that's what I wanted to focus on so I created the video that I was looking for when I was first starting out so I hope that somebody finds it helpful um, and then I'm gonna go through and do separate videos for each one of my notebooks as a walkthrough I think that will be better and then you can look at just the the ones that you want to see um, I won't be able to do them all at once I'll do them just as I have time here and there um, but yeah so this one is the leather all of the leathers and I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching this is a Moxie and Oliver size passport sized um, I had her cut it a little wider for me because um, I wanted to use it as a wallet and I was afraid that a regular passport size wouldn't be wide enough I forget what this design is called um, but I absolutely love it. All of her work is beautiful. I wish I could buy one of everything. Um, it's a nice stiffer leather, I would say, but it's still soft and smooth and, you know, manipulates pretty easily. But it does hold on to my inserts and I don't have to worry about um, stuff getting mangled in my bag. Pen loop riveted on. I had her cut my pen loop a little bit wider. Most of them aren't this wide because I use mostly fountain pens. This one is a Foxy Fix. Um, I believe it's called Snowflake. Um, passport size again. Mint elastics. I believe it is the bay leather that has been treated with this awesome crackle finish. This one is quite stiff does not lay flat on its own nice and thick definitely is not going to allow any damage to your inserts I love the finish on this I keep this one as a spare to my wallet so that I can switch it out um, every now and then just for some variety I did actually roll this a little bit too when I first got it not a ton because I didn't want to lose that finish on there but I did roll it a bit it did make it crackle a bit more it wasn't quite so crackly when I first got it a third passport this is the foxy fix wanderlust in butterscotch I love the pebbles on this one but I've seen a lot of variation I've seen some that are practically completely smooth and then I've seen some like this I actually have another one on order and I'm worried it's not going to be as pebbly as this one because I love how pebbly and soft this is. Super thick leather. Lays flat on its own. Pretty floppy but I certainly would never worry about my inserts getting damaged in this thing because it is so thick and luscious. This is a morning melange from Etsy. It is field note slash pocket size. It's super floppy. You can wad it right up. 
and it flattens right back out again. I love how rugged it looks, especially after wrinkling it up like that. Nice pebbly texture. Um, it's a relatively thin piece. I wouldn't throw this one in my bag because I don't know that it would stay covering my inserts. I don't know that it would stay in place. I love, I can smell this one from here. I don't even need to get close to it. It has such a great aroma. I can smell it from a mile away. It's gorgeous. This is a pocket wide Chic Sparrow Tenerife C. Deluxe, obviously, with the pockets. And it has six elastics because it's a wide. It's nice and sturdy. Good thick leather. It's this one is super pebbly. They all all the ones I've seen are pretty pebbly in different shades of blue. Um it's not as floppy as it appears. It does lay flat by itself. But I, when I first saw pictures, I kind of expected it to be super, super floppy and not very sturdy. But it's not. It's very sturdy. Like you can, as you can see, it stands up pretty well on its own. Um, it's definitely going to protect your inserts. Even without the pockets on there, I think it would do a good job. But it's still nice and soft. Very pliable. Great notebook. I love this. This is a Poppy and Hyde A6. I don't know if it has another name. I bought this secondhand, so that's about all I know about it. Um, this is one of my favorites. I don't, I'm not, I can't even really say why. Um, I love the pebbly texture. I love the double stitching. I love um, everything about this, actually. It's quite nice. It's really thick. Stands up well. but still very soft. This one actually came with the pen loop sticking out and I took it off and redid it because I like my pens to nestle against my inserts so I turned the pen loop around. Yeah, I could just stand here and touch it all day. <laughs> Creepy! This one is the um, Chic Sparrow Camo in a A6 size with the pink interior. I don't think they come with the pink or tan interior anymore. Um, I noticed that on the website they have them back in stock, but they don't show the inside. And the option now is to have pink or brown stitching on the outside. So I don't think they come with this on the inside anymore. So I don't know if this part's different at all, but um, I can at least speak for mine. Um, it's very soft. It's kind of more a suede. So you have um, in one direction, it's softer than in the other direction. And I do believe that it's two different kinds of leather bonded together. You can see right there. Lace flat, pen loop, very sturdy, not floppy, stiff but pliable if that makes any sense. I mean you can see it's not as stiff as this one where this one still stays rounded when you fold it. This one still molds nicely around your inserts. Um, but is still sturdy enough that it's pretty uh pretty stiff. This is the Boss Babe Moonlit A6 number 3. Nice and soft and supple. Definitely lays flat. 
quite floppy yet still remarkably sturdy and of course it's got the um, spine reinforcement on it I don't even know that it would need it though to be honest because it's very thick not as thick as the wanderlust but quite thick nice smooth finish on the outside I don't know what I got on mine The only thing that I don't, well, I'm not going to say I don't, well, I guess I do not like it. It's personal preference. There's obviously nothing wrong with it. But if you don't stuff this, because of the spine reinforcement, it doesn't really let it mold around the inserts. And so um, I have gaps. So unless you really stuff it full, you're going to have gaps in there, which, you know, may not bother everybody. I'm pretty anal so stuff like that annoys me um, but if you're not if you're normal <laughs> then that might not bother you at all um, but other than that I love it. it smells great nice and soft I want one in every color <laughs> this is the foxy fix um, moccasin in sandstone single strap I did put one of the, this is not their sticky pocket, this is a Target adhesive pocket. Um, I was trying to give it some structure. It is very, very, very floppy. Very floppy. It's yummy though. It smells fantastic. And it's almost like a shag carpet on the inside because it's <laughs> got such a long nap to it. It's pretty thick despite its floppiness, which is interesting. It's interesting how the different leathers can be so different from each other. Um, most of the ones that I've seen of Moccasin are relatively smooth, and this one is textured for days. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. That was what drew me to this one. I got this one secondhand on Facebook. And it's not really working well for the purpose that I wanted it for because I put it in my bag and then it's so floppy that it doesn't keep my inserts covered. Which is funny because most of my notebooks stay home. And it would figure that the one that goes out with me is the one that doesn't want to protect my inserts because it's so floppy. But I have found a new purpose for it. It will not be going anywhere because I love it. The ripples. Number three, A6. Not sure if I said that. Last A6. This is the Chic Sparrow um, Odyssey in Penelope. Love this notebook. It is quite stiff. The outside is nice and smooth, but it is stiff, and the inside's kind of not plush like some of the other ones. Um, this is a classic, so no pockets. However, for what it lacks in softness, it makes up for in character. It is so gorgeous. I love the texture on this. And it kind of looks to me like a Mr. Darcy burgundy that has been distressed. I don't know if that's the case or not, but it matches very closely to my burgundy Mr. Darcy. I don't know if I'm smoking crack on that one or not, but um, don't know if I said this is an A6 classic. Um, I did roll it when I got it, but uh, these deep crevices were there when I received it. It was these little finer ones that were added when I rolled it. And I actually changed my intention for this notebook because my original intention was not going to have it being used very often, but I changed it to being <laughs> used daily because I liked it so much. This is Chic Sparrow Cream and Chocolate, size B6. <clears throat> Great texture on this one. 
very floppy. Super thick. One huge chunk of leather. Super floppy, so it lays flat. I love the mark in this one. I could roll it any which way. I could crinkle this one too if it wasn't so darn thick. That's how floppy it is. I would be able to wad it up like I did the others, but it's so thick that it prevents me from doing that. Certainly wouldn't worry about this not protecting any inserts because even as floppy as it is, it's so thick and sturdy that it would keep everything safe. This is a Foxy Fix Rowena in number five or B6. This is much floppier than I thought it was going to be. It's quite thin, but still substantial, sturdy-ish, definitely sturdier than the moccasin. Um, definitely lays flat on its own. I love the sheen on this one. It's got a nice finish on it. But you can still see all the character of the leather as well. I love that sound. So that is the Foxy Fix Rowena next to the Chic Sparrow Chocolate, also B6. This is a standard size. It is the ZLYC, I believe is the right name, um, from Amazon. It's very thin, but you can see very sturdy, stiff. Um, I probably could make it softer by rolling it, but I am not about to do that because I don't want to lose this gorgeous texture on here. This was my very first TN that I ever bought. And even though standard is definitely not my size, I can't give it up because I love the design on it. I've even considered cutting it down into a different size, which I still haven't completely dismissed yet. Nice and soft on the inside. You can see some of the texture of the embossing coming through. Now this is... Since this is not a Chic Sparrow or a Foxy Fix, it is very narrow. Um, I currently only have four narrow little inserts in there that are not even that thick, and it comes right to the very edge. And when I close it up, I have to shuck them all back in there so that they're not sticking out. Um, just to keep that in mind. You definitely can't hold a lot of inserts in here. And I do believe that when I got this, it only was a single strap. I've restrung it a few times, um, but I'm pretty sure that it only had one in there when it came, which would make sense since it doesn't hold very much. But I try to push its limits and cram as much in there as I can. <laughs> So here again is my Mr. Darcy in Burgundy, size A5. I've had this, I started using it January 1st. <clears throat> so <clears throat> you can see how dinged and stuff it's gotten since then. Um, it does stay on my desk, so I'm a little surprised at how much marking it has on it, um, considering that it stays on my desk. But I do think that it just adds character and it doesn't make me dislike it at all. In fact, I kind of like it even more. This was my second one that I purchased to use as my bullet journal. <clears throat> it is the deluxe with the pockets. Um, it does lay flat on its own. I don't know if that's because of the size or if all Mr. Darcy deluxes would do that. Um, it's nice and stiff and um, more rigid than than most. It's not quite as rigid as the snowflake again, but it doesn't 
take away from this piece at all. I don't think because I think it's gorgeous. Um, I could have rolled this. It would have been harder with the pockets in there. But I've seen some rollings that I like and I've seen some that I didn't. So not being able to guarantee that it will come out the way I want. I wasn't going to risk it because I love it the way it is. And I didn't want to not like it. <laughs> um, I have been able to um, condition some of the scratches out of this. Um, you can see right here it looks like little worm like wormwood when a worm crawls through wood you can see um, that's kind of what that looks like right there. Um, I had something on my desk that scratched it and it was clear through the finish and I was able to condition it and now it just I mean you can't see it unless you look at an angle so some of the scratches do come out to an extent but like I said for the most part I'm okay with them because I think they add character sorry I'm like manhandling all these it's just it's it's leather come on what do you want don't know what that's from so then the next one my last one is another Mr. Darcy. I bought this one second hand. I'm just showing for comparison here. Um, I bought this one second hand, so I'm not sure. It said a Mr. Darcy buttered rum, but it's so much floppier than my burgundy that I'm wondering if it's a distressed buttered rum or if it's something else altogether. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, see how much floppier that is. It's much floppier. And it does look distressed and weathered. And I love it. Um, I have this, again, as a second to my, Mr., my other Mr. Darcy. Just to swap out every now and then for some variety. Um, yeah, it's it's so different than, the, than the, my burgundy. I have a hard time thinking that it's just a buttered rum version. I have to think that it's something different. Distressed in some way. Not certain, but I love it just the same. So there are all of the TNs that I currently have. Um, just the leathers so that you can compare and see which ones you like. Hope that was helpful.